gentlemen. Get quiet, please. Introducing the first speech of the night, the father of the bride, Mr. Patrick Corley. Can we get a round of applause, please? Fingers on left. Yeah. First of all, on behalf of uh, Debbie, myself, Jasper and Lynn, we can't thank you enough for all the effort you've all got you know, to come here and all the things that have gone on, whatever. We, we do appreciate so much. So, celebrate uh, Adam and Lauren's wedding. Woo! 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 For Adam Lawrence, so I have to read it. Ask the bill. <laughs> hey! hey. Oh, right. oh, sorry. To Pat, have a wonderful day. Get a few drinks on us. <laughs> So it's been a fantastic week. I mean, meeting all Lauren's friends. You know, the normal bed, I wouldn't have met you. No. But what me and uh, Jasper were talking. <laughs> what a wonderful crowd! You've got friends. You're lovely. Yeah, yeah. It's a lovely week. Lovely day. Oh. You can't get over it. You've not met us that well, eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was Lauren's friends. <laughs> when uh, Lauren first told me about Adam, she said. Uh, he's a car dealer for Christ. <laughs> we'll do later. We'll do later. I, I thought Christ is a Dell boy, isn't he? Uh, well, I couldn't be further from the truth, more. We'll have to Joey Ed Essex, I think, more. Joey Ed Essex. Fuck off, thank you. Mind you, he sold me two cars in the first year, so he <laughs> was. <laughs> So Adam, see, so can we do a deal? 29 years on the clock. Body works immaculate. Two loving owners. Runs on Prosecco, wine, gin, vodka. Mind you, he gets a bit groggy in the morning, so he has a... Doesn't respond well to putting your foot down. <laughs> but I must have say, she's not giving me any trouble all her life. Oh. And I just found out what a load of bollocks that is. <laughs> she just hid it from me. <laughs> Bear with me, I've lost the plot. <laughs> I'm afraid there's no spare tyres either on this model. <laughs> but I'm sure if you treat her well. There'll be many mini bowers you get out of her. A short story, but not not many stories about Lauren, but uh, we were going to France uh, one time on holiday and we were on the deck of the ferry. And Lauren was she was at twelve. I said, Lauren said, if me and your boyfriend were on this deck and we fell overboard, there's one life jacket, who would you throw it to? And she said, You dad. Well, I think I've lost the life jacket today, haven't I? I did, I did ask Leanne the same, her younger sister. She said, a boyfriend. She said, you're a good swimmer, Dad. <laughs> I'd like to say one thing. You know, I don't know if you all heard that I'm a granddad now. for that good wishes and all that. I'm thinking of Leanne, you know. Yeah. 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 So, 
So, please, can I ask you all to stand? Join me in the uh, celebration. Toast. Health, wealth, and happiness. Love and energy. to begin my speech by saying I'd like to couple up with this girl is because when she walked in the villa I knew she was the one for me. Hashtag call me Bauer, hashtag love island. <laughs> so let's start with some topics. So if we can all stay focused and have WhatsApp groups and fantasy football please gents there's some funny parts in here as well. Patrick, thank you for your kind words. You're a brave man letting your daughter become a bower, and for that, I thank you. No! A funny story, I actually remember. Uh, I remember after buying the ring, I went to speak to my dad to tell him I was going to ask Lauren to marry me. And he told me, you must ask Lauren's dad for permission before you ask for a hand in marriage. So taking Jasper's old school advice, standard, and it being the correct thing to do, I called up Pat and asked him if he fancied a pint in the evening and found out he was going to his local pub with Lauren's uncle Stephen and some of his pals to watch the United game of the Reds. <laughs> so it seemed a perfect time for me to ask the question. So I was walking into the pub, shaking, nervous like I am now. <laughs> Five of them sat there, I positioned myself carefully near Pat and I asked the question straight away. However, before getting a yes from Pat, the first reply I got was her uncle Stephen saying no across the table. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that was due to him finishing below me in fantasy football. <laughs> I also, on the way home from asking uh, Lauren's dad to marry me, had to tell Lauren I would be home late as she was ringing about dinner. Where are you? And I was actually, I was actually viewing a fiesta in the same area. <laughs> Killing two birds is the same goes. So all in all, it works out well. United won another fiesta ball, and most importantly, a yes to marry my perfect girl. Now it's not often you can have all your loved ones, friends and family in one place, especially abroad in a beautiful villa, all together to share our perfect day. So on behalf of me and my new wife, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for making it here today. We've had some long distance travellers come today from Australia, Amy, thank you for travelling so far. Uh, my boy Mickey Blue, all the way from Thailand. Where is he? He is no longer allowed into the UK for FBI and Mafia related reasons. <laughs> but we'll leave that there. We'll leave there. Uh, to Lauren's bridesmaids. Where are they all? Where are they all? <laughs> to Lauren's bridesmaids that have got Lauren through today and making her look so amazing. I can't thank each one of you enough. The bond and friendship you girls have I've seen over the years is like the Goonies and Spice Girls all rolled into one. <laughs> It doesn't actually seem that long ago, you all had me sat in a house in Didsbury when we first started dating, you were all living together, interrogating me, looking out for her, making sure I was the right man for Lauren, and clearly looking at how tanned and shredded I look today, I say she's going okay for her. <laughs> to Charlotte, the maid of honour, or as Lauren calls her on the phone every day, Thanks for everything and being there for her. I know she wouldn't have got through today without your help. No problem. <laughs> so my ushers and best pals who all really took care of me on my stag doing Prague, dressing me in the finest PVC and knee-high white boots. Sebi, thanks for helping me today and letting me beat you at squash every week. Joff, my favourite Frenchman, and Taylor, and great friend for many years. Lukey who you can always rely on any time if you need a Guinness before midday. <laughs> Lurk, a great brother, 
and always had the FF fancy acting like a student for a weekend. <laughs> and Woodsy, one of my oldest friends who I can always rely on if I need a lift in a stolen car. <laughs> Thanks for everything, boys. And And you drove the higher car today, uninsured with no license again. <laughs> Drunk as well. <laughs> to my brother Danny, my best man and best friend. Thanks for always being there for me my whole life, getting me out of trouble, keeping me on the straight and narrow, sometimes. <laughs> I wouldn't have got through today without you, Dan. Thank you. And most importantly, thanks for always making me look tall with lots of hair in all the <laughs> But we all know he'll have his revenge in a few minutes, won't we? <laughs> to my mum and dad. Thank you. <laughs> to my mum and dad, thank you for everything you've done for me all my life. Being the middle child, I've had my moments and nobody's perfect. But I could not be happier in my, in my life, and for that I will love you both forever. I'll never forget your help and support doing everything you have for, for me and creating such a wonderfully gifted car yeah. as well. <laughs> To my new family that I am joining today. Patrick, Deborah, Claire and Leanne, who sadly can't make today, but on the plus side, she has had a baby boy and I would like to congratulate you again on your new arrival and raise your glasses to Billy Pat. Yeah, so we are. You've welcomed me into your family with such kindness and made me feel so at ease and part of your family. I also want I also want to thank you both for giving me the best wedding present, your daughter Lauren, which I can't wait to unwrap later. <laughs> serious note, it wouldn't have been right doing this speech today without me mentioning someone very special to me all my life. My grandma, who sadly left us last year. We were extremely close and amazing friends and she loved all her family and Lauren to bits. And I know she's looking down on me and Lauren today wishing us the best, nibbling on an M&S custard cream with a cup of tea, which I'll sadly miss with her on Mondays when I had the fur. <laughs> So I'd just like to toast for everyone to loved and lost ones. All right, to loved and lost ones, thank you. Um, now, on to my new wife, Mrs. Lauren Bauer. I actually first met Lauren in Manchester Airport five years ago, and me and a few of the boys were going for a quiet, relaxing weekend in a beef. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> And there was Lauren and her gang heading to the same place. We parted, we clubbed together, and I can remember saying to my mate Joff at a party whilst we were there, all chatting, having a good time, she's the perfect girl for me. And I didn't even know anything about her at this point. And now looking at us married here today and how amazing you look, it looks like as usual, I was right. <laughs> Lauren. I can honestly say, since being with you, I've never been so happy. Every day when you come home from work, I fly to the front door to answer it just to see you. <laughs> this might sound cheesy to some people, but to me, it just makes me realise how much I really love you from the small things we do in relationships. Like, well, an example is when we were in Tesco a couple of months ago, I really fancy some crisps. <laughs> and I said talking to myself under my own voice with Lauren stood next to me, why can't you buy many bags of bacon fries like they sell in the railway? 
So a week later on my birthday, you actually came home with a huge crate of them. And you actually checked they were the same ones from the railway pub for me. If that isn't love, I don't know what is. <laughs> All the time you were so sick of me stuck in the dishwasher incorrectly, you, you gave me a written pass to stack the dishwasher anywhere I wanted for one week only. Oh, I was just kicking dishes in for a full week. <laughs> 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 okay. I could go on and on how many amazing things you do that always make me smile and laugh, Lauren. You constantly put up with my silly behaviour and let me annoy you 24-7. I can't thank you enough for being you. Uh, I would have you know of a way. Since being with you, I've not just been the happiest I've ever been, but also become a better person, all thanks to you. I can't wait to start our married la life together and have a family together with lots of boys, which I know you want so badly. <laughs> Don't you, Lauren? <laughs> Patrick, Deborah, you have done such a wonderful job raising Lauren, and anyone knows her... Anyone knows her as well as I do will know she's the kindest, loyal person you will ever meet. You go out of your way for all your friends and family. You're constantly turning our kitchen into a baking station, making cakes for all your friends and work colleagues, which are great, by the way, lads. And just shows how kind you really are. And I also have to say, standing up on that aisle today, I truly felt the luckiest man alive. Watching you walk down the aisle, you look absolutely stunning. And I actually thought, crikey, maybe I am punching it. <laughs> Thank you for coming into my life, Lauren, and being everything you are and loving me for who I am. I will spend my life looking after you and annoying you. And for letting me do that, I will cherish you forever and support you through all paths of life. And now you're my wife, I know our journey and fun will continue for many more years of happiness and fun together. So to everyone here, all my friends, family, loved ones, and I'm sure you've heard enough of me now, so I'd like you all to raise your glasses to the Bower wedding and final toast to my new wife, Mrs. Lauren Bower. And to finish it off, help me boys, just want to follow us up, be back here! Guys, can we just get another massive round of applause for that corner of the speech there? <laughs>